All right. Thanks for joining us today. In this short demo, we're going to spin up a backup as a virtual machine locally on the Datto Series 3X1. Why would you want to do this? Well, let's say, for example, your uh, server failed. Uh, you know, while you're, let's say it's a hard drive problem or a hardware problem, while you're fixing that, we could you could spin up your latest backup, could be, you know, five, ten minutes ago as a virtual machine, set, and then that virtual machine can operate on your network, and basically you, with minimal downtime to your operation, so it would act just like a regular server. So let's go ahead here and show you how quick and easy this is with the Datto Cirrus. So we're going to pick the system you want to restore. We're going to pick the local virtualization, so this is actually going to boot it up and boot it right up on the Datto Series 3. There's a couple other different options, but we'll discuss those in later uh, videos. So we're going to choose the recovery point. For this instance, I'm just going to choose the latest, but if you needed to restore to an earlier date, you could easily do that. An example, maybe a crypto locker, and you wanted to test out um, a reason why you... Um, if when you got the crypto locker. All right, so let's start the virtualization. And so these are the available resources on the actual data device itself. And here's where you're going to uh, select the number of cores in the, in the RAM for your actual virtual machine that you're going to boot up. And here you're going to, a couple different network options, bridge the primary NIC, so it's going to act as if it's the VM is directly on your network, but you, if you wanted to disconnect or put it on its own private subnet so it can't be reached for testing purposes, this is where you would do that. Okay, so then we're going to start the VM. So in this, right now, the Datto is uh, preparing and it's going to mount the actual VM onto the Datto series. Right now, that's done, so now it's booting up. So we're going to click in here and it's going to open up a VNC connection to the uh, VM. As you see, it's starting up. All right, so now from here, we're going to boot in. Log in, and now here it's going to install different drivers, USB drivers, network drivers. The drivers get uh, stripped out in the HIR process during the backup, um, so you can restore to, say, bare metal restore and uh, other different hardware. And one thing you can notice, I'm going to go back here. You can see here the available resources. So we had 13,000 and change, and now we're using two. So we're going to be back here. So those are the amount of available resources on there. So let's, I don't need Skype open. Okay. One of the first things I like to do is change the screen resolution. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay. Surely I want to maybe make it a little smaller. All right. Now let's open up a command prompt here. Check to see the IP address you were on. Well, what's okay, so we do have DHCP, so it gave me an IP address on my local subnet. Now let's ping the gateway. Perfect. All right, let's ping the outside world. Perfect. Okay, so all right, let's 
pull up a browser, get to the outside world. <clears throat> All right, so here we are. So as you can see, server's back up online, configured within a matter of minutes, only a few minutes. So let's bring this down, stop and unmount, get the data ready for the next restore. Perfect. Thank you very much for watching and attending, and uh, please feel free to reach out with uh, to success at venueit.com with any questions you may have. Thank you.